on Thursday the 8th of September 2022 Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II passed away peacefully at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. And we pray for the well-being of the royal family of the United Kingdom and a long reign for King Charles III. Now, I'm not too sure if this is the right thing to do for a video for today, but as my mum said, life continues, life goes on. It is Friday the 9th of September 2022, and I do have some more video clips of when some visitors went to the Free Gorges and managed to capture some on video for you. This is a continuing saga. A question for you. What are the impacts of the Free Gorges Dam? Well, this lovely lady in a moment or two will be explaining to you. Over the Three Gorges Dam, you have had a lot less rain, a lot more drought. You have had landslides, mudslides, and of course, it's also because of the weight of the dam. It actually poses seismic shifting, so earthquake. So there is also a rise of waterborne diseases, decline in biodiversity, which is very important because when you have more biodiversity, that is the whole ecosystem, lack of biodiversity. When the plants are dead, the ground cannot absorb the water as well because it produces, when the microbes die, they produce a waxy substance on the surface, causing the crust, the ground to be like impermeable crust. And of course, high electricity costs. A dam is not renewable as, as, as well. As much as people think that water power is free, it's not free at all. So it was such a lie to tell people that if we have this dam, you're going to have free electricity. What nonsense. So it reduces the water flow to others. So when you try to fill up the dam at the upper stream, the downstream people get no water. So it actually alters weather patterns. Since the construction of uh, the Three Gorges Dam, you have had a lot less rain, a lot more drought. You have had landslides, mudslides, and of course, it's uh, also because of the weight of the dam. It actually causes seismic shifting, so earthquake. So there is uh, also a rise of waterborne diseases, decline in biodiversity, which is very... And some other information near enough on the same channel. I apologise for the sound quality, but this is near enough copied off Twitter. Li Peng, the former General Secretary of the People's Republic of China, proceeded the Free Gorges Dam and altered figures so it could be built. Studies. This, they did about like a 10 years or something like that, supposedly. And during the feasibility study, the main scientist, okay, they actually all declined. They said that's going to be a disaster. We can't do that. This is going to be a a origin of the disaster for the rest of our lives for the uh, for the whole Chinese uh, race, and uh, then you know what happened? Uh, Li Peng's family, Li Peng, get very sneaky. Li Peng get permitted. He wanted the job because he was the prime minister. So he got a new bunch of scientists and ordered them to change the figure so the whole project can go ahead. Okay, that was a real story. We used to read that stuff in the, on the internet when we come out. Uh, when we were in China, we don't know about this. At the beginning, when they did the feed. Another question for you. Why is it at the moment there is a lot of advertising for, you could say, the Yangtze River? Rivers general in China. Bridges, infrastructure. And all done mainly for the international market rather than just the Chinese. Let's have a look.
time for a little break and what happens if you don't wear your mask in China. Lockdown in China is happening in many cities anywhere between 33 to 41, whether this is a partial lockdown or near enough a full lockdown. And one intrepid explorer who was able to get out showed some pictures and videos of Chengdu in Sichuan, the home of the panda. Becoming a regular feature on this channel is what's happening to Tokyo and the baby kitten, the abandoned stray cat we found, or oh, it must be 10 or 11 days ago now. All is well, but I would like to thank two people who donated to the Pickle Fund. One is Diane, who gave us $10, and the other person is a another subscriber to the channel and has donated before uh, Bernadette thank you so much now all this money once I receive it in October will be going into the upkeep of pickle as I mentioned before I do have Tokyo and I can afford cats are not um, cheap to look after here everything has to be imported like the food for example luckily the vet fees are a lot cheaper but i'm unable to look after two cats financially i can do one and i do have another channel the link is in the description below and hopefully on a daily basis you can see pickle if you do want to support then please go to super thanks or become a member or join the patreon and again all these proceeds will go to pickle until I get my 1,000 subscribers on that channel and 4,000 viewing hours. I would like to say thank you to everyone who's taken part and helped in the financial capability or the financial way for looking after Pickle. I know how hard it is to raise $1 and I truly, truly do appreciate everything. Thank you. That brings us to a close on Friday the 9th of September 2022. If you do have the time, please do like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. From all the team here, that's Pickle, Tokyo, Soapy and myself James. A peaceful Friday. Thank you.